first things first, one requirement uh, in order to use the custom maps in your Trail Tech Voyager Pro is to make sure that you have at least this version 1.5 update on the Voyager Pro, the firmware, which adds this functionality. You can get this from trailtech.net. Um, <clears throat> if there's a newer version out since this video, grab that, whatever's the latest version. But anything less than 1.5, you will not have the custom map options. So make sure to grab this. All right, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to use this website, caltopo.com, to export out some MV tiles and take that data and load it onto your Trail Tech Voyager Pro uh, using the custom map option. Uh, what I've done here is gone to caltopo.com, as you can see. You want to sign in with your account over here on the left. Uh, the free account lets you export out a bunch of tiles. If you try to export out too much with a, a fine view resolution, it'll it'll lower it so it's blurrier when you zoom in real tight. So if you have like the $20 or $50, the, the more you pay, the more you can export out into one file. So um, you can always export out many files at a time and just load them separately as you ride from area to area, you know, different times. But sign in here, take you here. I choose my account. Now I'm signed in. I have the $20 plan. What I'm showing you right now is uh, Southern California's Big Bear Lake. You see, I have the map builder overlay, which kind of darkens some of the roads. And then I have the motor vehicle usage on there to kind of show you which ones are four by four, uh, motorcycles, stuff like that, hiking. I find it kind of nice to see. So once you have it here, I'm just going to export out a small section of this. Uh, I'm going to go up to the print option up top, choose MB tiles file right here, print, pulls up this screen. This is what it's planning to export out. You can see my target zoom. I'm going to choose the tightest possible, 832 tiles. That's a lot. It'll take a few minutes to download. I'm not going to waste that time right now. So let's just shorten it up so it's smaller. Here's an area north of the lake. 160 tiles. You can see I can zoom in. Trails. Uh, it's probably still updating. Let's export it out. Click the button here, download MB tiles. Okay, it pops up this screen here. If you choose a lot of MB tiles, a lot of, you know, like 800, 900 or more, this might sit here for five minutes before it actually pops up a, a save as dialogue. We're going to fast forward this a little bit. I'll tell you how long it actually took and I'll take you to the actual screen once it's downloaded. Okay, so it popped up. It downloaded this file to my default download location called map.mb tiles. Um, I will show you where that file is, downloads. Here it is, map.mb tiles. We'll call this uh, Big Bear Test. We're renaming it .mb tiles. There it is. I also have plugged in to this computer a uh, SD card right here. You can see I have a couple of folders. There's a bunch of MB tiles that I already have in here. Let's copy this one we just made over, paste it into here. There it is. So. And now I'm going to eject this SD card from the reader in my PC, and I'm going to put it into the Voyager Pro, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So now what I'm going to show you is here's the card. It was in this little adapter, and that was in my PC using this adapter. Okay. So I copied everything onto it. Let's stick it in the Voyager Pro. You're in the mapping menu, now you hit these three dots over here. Oh, I should, should indicate as well that at this moment, we're kind of looking at Big Bear Lake already. So I'd zoomed in there just to make it easy for us. So go to options. If you're on the 1.5 firmware, which you need to be, you'll have this custom map option. If you don't see that there, you're not on 1.5, 1.4 or older. Update your firmware on Trailtech's website. Go to custom map. Choose your SD card, oh, SD card, scroll down to the one we just stuck on there, Big Bear Test. These ones are the same thing, but just much bigger. Um, 
I didn't make a video of it. So here's Big Bear test. Loaded successfully. Make sure to leave it in there, which you should. Okay. It's still loading the tiles right now, actually. So if you are there already, it'd be best to hit this little button here and just let it zoom in. This tile is not very big, so you have this blurriness because it's not showing you uh, what you want. So you see how the cutoff, but if I was there, I would hit this GPS thing and it would take me right into where I am and I could just zoom, zoom, zoom right into it. But so here's, here's the tiles. You could see the level of detail, just like in the web. Look at all the trails. Okay, it works pretty good. Um, if you want to, you can hit these three buttons here, go to options, custom map, and I'll show you what it looks like in comparison. So here's the same spot without it. Not very much. Let's turn it back on and I'll do partial transparency and you'll see a bit of it. See the overlay? So it adds extra mapping data. Let's go back to 100%. And obviously this button here is off and on. But yeah, there you go. A lot more data. And then if you're going somewhere else, just pick a different uh, MB tile, you know? You always gotta keep that SD card in there. If you pay more to CalTopo, you can export out much larger areas. Um, I guess it's, uh, you gotta decide what's important to you. You wanna make sure that you keep that same uh, target zoom I talked about because when you get in here if you were to have lower target zoom like if you if you export out too much it has a red um, icon underneath that telling you that your resolution will be lower this will all be really blurry because it's expecting that you're going to try to look at it from much further away which you're probably not when you're writing so that's how it works